Hello everyone, myself Ruchi Patel, working as an assistant professor at LJ College of Physiotherapy. Today I am going to take first year topic that is walking eggs. So let's start with the presentation. First we'll see the definition of walking eggs. So what is walking eggs? Walking eggs are the appliances or the devices which are used for the stability as well as for the mobility purpose of an individual who cannot walk independently without any support. Okay, so the person who are not able to walk independently or the person who requires the extra support for them, we use this uh, walking eggs. Okay, so we have varieties of walking eggs. Uh, we have walkers, we have crutches, cans, then wheelchairs, and braces and splints. In today's lecture, we are going to see about the crutches. So what are the purpose of this walking edge? That helps to increase the support or base of support. Okay, the, It helps to maintain the center of gravity over the supported area. And also it helps to redistribute the weight bearing areas by decreasing the post on injured or inflamed part or limb. Okay. It can be compensated for the weaker muscles. It helps to reduce the pain. It improves the proprioceptions and also helps to improve the balance. So what are the indications for the walking aids? The person who are, who are having the pain, then with the muscle weakness, imbalance issues for the fractured patients for whom the doctor has advised to give uh, less weight or not to give weight on the fractured part. In that cases, we can use this walking aids. The joint diseases, then injured or inflamed limbs or the lack of proprioceptions. Then we have mainly axillary crutch, elbow crutch and gutter crutch. So here you all can see the first is the axillary crutch, this is the elbow crutch or forearm crutch and this is the gutter crutch. Okay so in today's lecture we are going to focus on axillary crutch. Uh, in the uh, further lectures we'll discuss about the elbow and gutter crutches. Okay. So Crutches are used most frequently to relieve the weight bearing, like uh, to relieve the body limb or the part from the weight bearing, whether it is fully or partially, or sometimes while giving the non weight bearing. Okay, and mainly it is used bilaterally, and it helps to increase the base of support. Lateral stability will also get increased, and all the upper extremity helps to transfer the body weight to the floor. Okay. So axillary crutches, which provides the maximum stability, almost we can say 80% of the stability which is provided by the axillary crutch. And it is recommended for the patients with the marked instability during the walking. And made up of aluminum, wooden or steel. So depending on the uh, patient uh, requirement and the patient financial uh, situation, we can advise with the uh, aluminum, steel and wooden type. So here we can see the parts of the axillary crutch. Mainly we have axillary pad, then we have hand grip and in the last part we have rubber paddles. Okay, so we'll see one by one axillary pad that is situated on the top of the crutch as in this figure you all can see this axillary pad that is uh, present in the top of the crutch and uh, uh, it should be placed five centimeter below to the axilla just to avoid the uh, neuropraxia that is uh, axillary radial and brachial plexus injuries so to avoid this all uh, injuries we keep just five centimeters below to the axilla. 
and uh, it is made up of uh, you know the it also covers the cushion and uh, so that it provides the support to the axilla and it avoids the damage to the lateral aspect of the chest as well so the next is the hand grip you all can see this uh, girl is holding this hand grip so it is made up of mainly plastic materials and many time it is covered with the cushion so that you know the grip of the hand can maintain and normally comes around the greater trochanter of the person and this hand grip is also adjustable uh, for the height because according to the patient height the length of the crutches also will get changed so for uh, this hand grip also we have changes uh, the adjustment for the height or we can say uh, generally we have to keep around the greater trochanter so we can adjust the accordingly to the patient height and uh, even we have push buttons grip sometimes uh, there's uh, adjustable screws are not available and we have press button so by that we can adjust it okay then in the last part you all can see this is the rubber carrels uh, it provides the grip while walking on the normal or slippery surface. So now the important part is the measurement. If the crutch which we give to the patient and it is not in the perfect length, then it might damage to the axilla or it might damage to the nerves that is axillary nerve, then radial nerve or the brachial plexus. And of course, along with that, there will be the change in the gait pattern or it might create any excessive stress on the other body part. So to avoid this, before pres prescribed to the patient or before making him to walk with the crutch, we have to take the measurement. Okay. So we can take this measurement in the supine line position and standing position. And in both the position, we can check with the shoes on and shoes off. So first we'll see in the supine position with the shoes off. So we'll take the measurement from the base of the axilla to the medial malleolus of the uh, extremity. Okay. So in the supine line position, shoes on, what we'll do? We'll take just two inches or we can say five centimeters below to the uh, axilla and uh, just two inches lateral to the heel of the shoes so here if we consider this then just we'll take the measurement from the two inches vertically uh, like two inches just down from the axilla and then we'll take the measurement uh, from the two inches lateral to the heel of the uh, shoes okay in the supine position here the uh, image is given for the standing but just i'm showing ki, uh, fill how uh, like uh, what are the bony landmark for us so the uh, lateral uh, heel part will consider and two inches just lateral to the heel will consider this measurement for the standing we'll take uh, with the shoes off that is two inches below to the axilla and to the two inches lateral to the heel and six inches in the forward direction to the foot okay mainly we consider this measurement according to the standing position and whenever we prescribe to the patient we'll take the measurement in the standing position only okay but uh, we can do in the supine position as well so uh, if we are preferring supine position then we have to follow uh, this supine measurement and uh, for the standing for, uh, measurement i'll repeat it again just we have to take the measurement from the two inches below to the axilla okay apex of the axilla then uh, two inches lateral to the heel and six inches forward to the foot okay so this could be the measurement for the standing with the shoes off and the same measurement that is from the just two inches below to the apex of the axilla then two inches lateral and six inches in the forward direction with the shoes on will take the measurement but here we have to consider the distance from the heel of the shoes okay, okay. then hand grip measurement 
so generally for the hand grip measurement will ask the patient to make the shoulder relaxed and elbow should be 20 to 30 degree in the flexed position and uh, uh, we'll take the measurement from the two inches apex below to the apex of the axilla to the ulnar styloid process okay so again here uh, i'll show you so here you can see the two inches below to the apex of the axilla till the ulnar styloid process will take the measurement and uh, the elbow should be 20 to 30 degree of flexed position So what are the advantages of the uh, axillary crutch? So it helps to improve the balance and for the lateral stability. It is easily adjustable and it is not expensive, right? And it provides the functional ambulation with the restricted weight bearing. If the patient is not allowed to keep the weight, but, but still the patient will be able to ambulate or he can go for his daily activities with the help of crutch and it can be used for the stair climbing easily okay so what are the disadvantages of axillary crutches so it is awkward in the small area and of course while uh, using this axillary crutch our upper limb uh, freedom will get compromised or it will be limited and uh, it requires this axillary crutch uh, walking which requires the good stability okay good balance is required of the patient and uh, many times if the patient has tendency to lean in the excessive forward direction then it might damage to the nerves okay so so what are the precautions that we have to take so uh, initially when we uh, make the person to walk with the crutches then one person should be there to just observe the patient and uh, if the patient is require any help then that person can help once the patient get confidence then he can walk by himself and uh, the for the all the pads we have to check frequently okay so if it is not proper then we can change it and screws we have to check whether it is a fit or not at least weekly once we can check check that and we can adjust it and uh, of course we have to clean out the uh, tip of the crutch as well as we have to check for the ferrules uh, if it is not proper then we have to change it and uh, whenever we find any small obstructs are coming uh, in between the patient's uh, area while he walks then we have to just uh, remove it and beware of ice snow or wet or the uh, you know the area in which it is difficult for the person to walk so if you find this type of sticky area or any wet or snow or ice then we have to just clean out it and avoid the uh, use of this crutches during the crowded area because sometimes may patient uh, lose their balance and uh, never carry anything in the head while using the axillary crutch because maximum your body weight is coming on the upper extremity and if you are uh, using your upper extremity for the other purpose as well then it might uh, uh, disturb your walking pattern okay uh, so if it is required then you can use the backpack okay so this is a brief idea related to the axillary crutch uh, in the uh, next lecture we'll discuss about the elbow and buttock crutches thank you